now that we have reached our destination, we are going to talk about lay billboards. So fiance and I put up a challenge, okay? And it was, we would match all of the donations up to the first 1,000. That was literally met within like five minutes. Angel's, Angel of Virtue and her fiance Burger matched our $1,000 literally as soon as we said it, okay? So we started out with like a $2,100. I know people have been sending me stuff all day. Literally all day, I've been getting cash out, PayPal. My phone's been ding, ding, ding. So we will just be adding to the fun. Now, some questions have come like, what if, I don't know, he's found before then or something changes, whatever. Then in that case, fiance and I had said that we would just take the money, take it out and give it to him, right? Someone suggested that we could just continue to do billboards for other missing children. And I won't speak for Chris and Katie. Um, I don't see why they would have a problem with that. But nevertheless, it's something that I will have to ask, okay? Everyone's been asking where they are. So if they want to like go take a photo of them, they can. And that's what we're going to go through in this live. And then I'm going to deliver a personal, very personal, <sighs> calm, attempt at calm message to one said Dolly Vision because I'm sick of your shit. You and your ugly. I came back here to get on the internet, right? And do the show or whatever. It's basically, hold on, hold on. Basically stating, we started it yesterday and so far we've had 587 blips and 11,217 impressions. So that's pretty dang good, okay? So let me go through. We have 22 billboards and we have enough right now, well, as of yesterday to go for 45 days. That's not adding in the stuff that's been coming in today, okay? Oh, and on a side note, another side note, I went to the uh, post office today and mailed, mailed, mail, mail, mailed out the bracelets past the members, right? So if you signed up on the list, of course, the damn machine ran out of paper. So here me and baby clue are sitting there waiting around. And by the time the lady fixed it, there was somebody behind me. Now I told y'all the process, guys, I put the bracelet on the community page. Okay. There's literally a sign up sheet. Okay. I know I have to mail some more out, but, um, if you want one, go to the community tab and just scroll down. Okay, the first one is in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, this literally gets 1,309,847 average daily views. This is ultra high traffic off of I-75, I-85 interstate. Okay, it's digital. And again, it just blips. I think it's shown like every eight seconds, right? It just cycles all day. Me put the brakes on? I did. I'm just saying, sorry, Rana. But I saw like a Britney chatting in here earlier and I was like, why are we attacking people in the chat? Whoa, did you hear my... The, this one here is in Atlanta, Georgia, 1,608,975 average daily views, ultra high traffic, I-75, I-85, and this is, it don't really give you no, like, what you call it, street things. Oh, well, this one's on the left side, and this one's on the right side, so there's that. Then we got Myrtle Beach. This is off of Highway 501, the 17 bypass. If you've ever been to Myrtle Beach, you know that is the main strip in Myrtle Beach. It's how you get to Myrtle Beach, right, in and out. Um, and this one, I guess, is every six seconds, or does it show for six seconds? You know what this means? Oh, okay. The unobstructed view allows for a 25-second read of this location. That's kind of cool. So then we have another one in Myrtle Beach, uh, in the heart of the famous restaurant row. Yeah, if you've ever been to Myrtle Beach, you know there's one strip you go on, and it's just seafood buffet after seafood buffet, the giant crab, the whatever. I don't know clap crustaceans i don't know but there's a bunch of like restaurants there p.o box? box one one why hold on p.o box one one six hold on best page to see three oh and it's obviously by the tanger outlets which are always fun should you go anywhere that there is one go shopping i know the giant you talking about the giant crab mystery last time we went to myrtle beach i i was like mm -mm, we ain't never coming back here honey it was just it's gotten just i don't know if i want to say like cringy or I don't know. So here's one in Chesapeake, Virginia. Dolly, it's for you. Not really. It's just a big area. 120,160 average daily views, and it's northbound I-464 traffic coming from Chesapeake and heading directly towards Portsmouth and Norfolk. The exit to I-264 is one mile straight ahead of this display face. Panama City Beach, Florida. High volume road with snowbirds during the winter and beach traffic in the summer. Uh, and that's got 85,000 viewers hey didn't we go there yeah. ripley's yeah. or did we go to the upside down oh yeah we did. It was i forget what the hell they call that place panama city beach again uh same thing ripley's believe it or not 
this is westbound traffic and this one's eastbound traffic. So they're on both sides of the road. And it is a super busy intersection because we literally just took a vacation down there. So another one in Panama City Beach. This is southwestbound traffic. Oh, by the way, if you ever go to Panama City Beach, there's this like water park there. Okay. This is more going to be for the parents than it is the little kids. But holy shit, can they make a strawberry daiquiri? I'm talking about floating around in the lazy river, passed out. Okay. Just sleep. Wonderworks. That's it. Wonderworks. So anyway, you got to check out that place down there. Okay. Because I mean... Is it Big Kahuna's? That might be. I have the cup in there, but I sent them to get me a refill, right? And they came back and I was passed out in my raft in the Lazy River. It was, damn them, some good drinks and cheap too. Shipwreck. That's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, so this one, I said Southwest bound traffic, uh, still in Panama City Beach. Well, Panama City, Florida. This one is in Clarksville, Indiana, and it is right hand read for southbound traffic on 65 at mile marker 110. Yeah. <clears throat> Above Tom Stinnett RV. I don't know what that means, but okay. 306,000 daily views. There's another one in Clarksville. <clears throat> Same place, except mile marker 2.9. Above CC Power Sports. I guess that's the name of the business. How do you say it, Marquis? Yeah, sure. La Lamarck. La Lamarck, La Texas. Uh, 150,000 people. I'm just going to round up. One, well, 149, 744. And this one is on the right side of the road. I'm trying to see if it gives me... We'll get the actual addresses. I didn't know you could do that, obviously. Again, in Lamarck, Texas. 115,000 daily views. One in Orlando. Oh, that's crazy. Look. <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so this is by SeaWorld, Universal, Disney, Orlando Convention Center, and a lot of other crap it says. Ritz, Carlton, Rosen, Single, Shingle Creek. And JW Marriott, this one gets 137,407 average daily views. Okay, I thought you were calling me out. Another one in Orlando, southbound traffic, and it's in the same, near the tourist locations. Then we have another one in Myrtle Beach. This is Highway 17, 300 feet south of Shetland Lane. ESF, uh, ESSF, I don't know, East? I don't know what the hell that means. 140,012 average daily views. Then we've got Corpus Christi, Texas, and that is 174,208 average daily views. And it doesn't really tell me much about where it is, but then another one in Corpus Christi with 100 and look at that car, 174,208 average daily views. And again, I can get the exact addresses. I just have to go on the app and do that. Navarre, Florida, Navarre, Florida, South, South, what's SS? South side of Highway 98, maybe? west of whatever 83,611 average daily views and I think nope one more no maybe no I think it's more than that Navarre Florida again 111,077 average daily views Azalea Park Florida boy we covered the crap out of Florida didn't we and this is 185,736 average daily views and again in Azalea Park Florida 159,751 average daily views and Bristol, Tennessee, 103,275 average daily views. And so this one at the intersection of Euclid and the iconic West State Street. So that's it. That's all of them. See what y'all done done? All the people in this community come together. Look what happens. Right. 22 billboards up for, I don't even know how many days now, because I don't know how much y'all have done donated today, but I'm just saying like, damn, this is, this is what it ought to be, right? And I know Duchess is whole community and her campaign that she had and it's like yeah i mean this is this is awesome i wish it could all be this positive person it is like a lot of exposure like guys looking at how many people are gonna see that every day is crazy and it needs to be seen let me talk about my friend